don't know if you can see, but my hand is shaking because I've just been out in a Bond car, in an actual car that was used in the Bond movies. They have two chassis here from 1 to 10 that they use in the Bond movies. 001 to 0010. Uh, this is 00 four and then the one behind is actually 007 and you actually get to drive we got to drive them so once i could negotiate my way around the roll cage and actually get in and strap into the the five point harness um we were able to go out onto a special course and basically let rip i mean i thought you know normally when you go on these things the person beside you is normally telling you to slow down slow down the, the instructor with me was actually a stuntman who worked on the bond franchise for 15 years and other franchises as well and uh, yeah, he was just like, faster, faster, faster. <laughs> it was absolutely mental. So over those years, those 15 years, I've obviously driven and worked with the Land Rovers many, many times. So for me to be in charge this time around and get the opportunity to use the new Defender model was amazing. Um, so it was a big sort of moment in my career. The jump that Jess performed for me, I did a test at 10 meters, 20 meters, and then realized I was gonna be able to push the vehicles and spoke to Nick about the spec that we'd need and ran on standard air suspension. I'll let Jess tell you about the jump I made her do um, made. many, many <laughs> times. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, actually, when I, Lee first rang me about um, this job, or whenever you get a new job, you kind of listen to the brief and, you know, I have full faith in Lee. Um, he knows what he's doing. Full. So, <laughs> ish. <laughs> ish. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of said, yeah, cool, sounds amazing. Um, and it was only when I first saw the jump, actually, where it... Um, daunted on me what we were going to be doing and I kind of looked, looked at Lee and kind of said are you sure about this Lee? And <laughs> Not my team asked me that quite often. <laughs> um, so yeah travelling up to the ramp at I think 65k uh, yep. to begin with First was, rehearsal. Yep. which was the slowest okay. we went of all goes um, right up to 100k, 100K 80, between 65, 85k and 100k for some of the last two jumps which were huge which is really quite quick when you're travelling towards a, such a big ramp um, and it was actually once I'd hit the ramp for the first time and you're kind of in mid-air, um, there was a long period of time, or what felt like a very long period of time, where all I could see was a very, very grey sky and rain. Um, couldn't see any floor, couldn't see anything, and I was just heavily anticipating a very hard and painful landing. Um, but seven or eight goes in and didn't hurt one bit, and that is testament to both the cars and Lee's great planning, I guess. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, to be one of the first to drive the new Defender was a great honour for me. You know, such a big fan of the older model, um, to be one of the first was amazing. I mean, when I first tested the vehicles, my brief is that I want a cage that's going to protect my drivers, just for me, um, so I can then push the car to the limit and then I can look after my drivers. Working as a Bond stuntman for the last 15 years and being then entrusted to design and coordinate the action group Bond film, it's the biggest honour a stunt performer can ever have, male or female. So we do things practically, we do them the best we possibly can and we make it as real as possible all the time. So, especially using a vehicle, we'll push them above and beyond what we think they're capable of, or even when we're working so closely with Nick and all the guys at Jaguar Land Rover, they know as soon as they put me in that car, I'm going to drive it harder than anybody's ever driven them. That's just my job and that's what I do. So, roll cage has gone in, steel protection on the roof as well, fire suppression unit, fuel cell, Standard suspension, which is running on air, standard chassis, standard engine, and that's how these vehicles have been driven throughout the whole of the shooting. So, handbrake. And hydraulic handbrake. Put them in purely because I was working on 60, 65 degree slopes a lot of the time. Really, sometimes, really, just to give the drivers a brake, we use the hydraulic handbrake. Very rarely. We just, yeah, we very rarely use it. I put it in just in case I need to change some of the scenes. So, no additional structural strengthening or anything like that no. to, to require it? Oh, wow. You'll wow. see the cage, you're going, to drive, you're going to drive 004 and 007 from the last day shooting. Nothing has been changed. So you're going to get, which is personally for me, you know, um, my favourite is 004, 007 is the one's going to be the most iconic defenders in history. So enjoy it. Have a nice drive. We're going to take you out onto a lap. There's some hay bales out there. Please try and stay between the hay bales. There is video footage, but I'm wearing a mask, so you can't see the massive grin on my face as I'm doing. Go, go, go. Drive, drive, drive. Drive, drive, drive. Drive, drive, drive. Go, go, go. But tremendous.
tremendously good fun, very, very quick, very fast. It's incredible how much control you can still have of the vehicle when you're going that fast and on that slippery surface and you think you're on the limit, but it's like, whoa, actually, I'm still just, just about managing to handle this. Uh, it's also a heck of a workout, really, like, we just did a couple of laps, it's been, you know, I'm like, I'm shaking and I'm, oh, you know, it's, I think I'm going to feel it later on. Imagine doing this all day on a film set, that's a quite extraordinary experience, but yeah, wow, that was sensational. Keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. 